All right, I hope you enjoyed that intro there. Uh, I'm finally back into the groove of doing three plates on my squat after all the recovery, getting used to the belt and all that stuff. So today I'm actually gonna be sharing with you, uh, my program first of all is five by five. So five sets of uh, uh, five reps at uh, squatting three plates. And the biggest issue I was thinking and that really caused me in terms of my confidence in squatting was that, okay, was I going low enough? What was going on? Was my stance off? Was I going too wide and all that stuff? So with that being said, I did a little bit more research and the, the problem or the challenge actually I found was the people I was squatting with were actually people who squat high bar. And if you know about the high bar squat is that their legs are more in front and their back is a lot more vertical. So in reality, it looks like they can go a lot deeper. Um, however, in powerlifting, most of the biggest powerlifters are using low bar squat. So with that being said, um, I regained my, my confidence and then I was able to squat properly. So <laughs> over here, it's interesting. I'm wearing a shirt that uh, obviously you can see my nipples, ironically. And the wrist wraps that I'm wearing, they're actually interfering. Uh, they prevent me at least from curling my wrist too much. And the issue I'm having, I haven't figured out the way around this yet, was to, to keep my tightness and also having my thumb over the bar to really make sure that my wrist is as, as, uh, as neutral as possible. Now, about the belt. So there's actually a sweet spot around the belt and I haven't been able to figure it out all the time how to set it up yet. So that's why you see me uh, doing maybe four or only three and then I'll, of course I'll just go and finish it. I haven't recorded all of it. And with the PR belt, which is great, is that you can actually adjust it by the centimeter. Uh, where, where, where the lever belt, you cannot. Uh, unless you really unscrew it and screw back in, back and forth like that. So if you happen to wear a hoodie or anything on top of it, this belt is excellent. The challenge is that once you start uh, removing it, you have to pull the ratchet all the way to the point where it's flat. And at that point, the belt will automatically come off. Whereas the lever belt, you just un unlock it and then it just stays onto your waist. So that's a disadvantage with this belt. My, my uh, advice is if you have a, a lever belt, um, keep that and because it's, it's sufficient, it's really good. If you're, you don't have a belt and you're looking to get a belt, I suggest you get the PR belt instead, only because it allows you that degree of accuracy in terms of the tightness. So one of the cool things that's been happening lately is uh, I've been actually getting a lot of uh, people I've been inquiring like, hey, you know what, I really like what you've been doing, I've been following you, and some people are a lot more discreet about that. So I've been getting a lot of inquiries about so some people are like, hey, how, how can you help me with uh, hitting some numbers? Can you help me with my fitness goals and things like that? So I'm really grateful for that. Uh, speaking of, you've been following me. The other thing that's also really cool is on Instagram, uh, somebody actually, I posted it, somebody actually accused me of uh, taking steroids now in my opinion I think I find out that's a very big compliment because I'm guessing he must think that I look unnatural or that I am pushing weights that are uh, unnatural in terms of the numbers so I take that as a big compliment and later on there was actually a gentleman that came and he said are you a power lifter and I said yes I am and yeah I asked him like how did you know he said well because of your equipment so I asked him where he was from and he told me he was from Texas originally. And I said, well, it's pretty big there, powerlifting. And he says, yeah, absolutely. So he started squatting around with me and he said his max is three plates. So ironically, when he started squatting around where I was squatting as well, um, he got motivated and started doing three plates. Uh, obviously not five by five, but I was very impressed by that. And uh, at that point, I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna up my game as well. So on the last one, on the last set, uh, I believe this was my fourth set. So on the last set, I did uh, five, and he, he looked at me and, and he goes like, oh, lightweight. And I go, oh man, I wish, not even, because on the fifth one, I was actually struggling. And you'll see here, when I'm actually uh, doing my squat, I tend to close my eyes on the way down, which I never realized until I started filming over here. So that was really cool and that's going to be happening. I really encourage you if you think that uh, or you find these videos very inspirational, um, please make sure you mention it. It really helps me. I really do it you know, for, for you guys and of course for myself as well. So other than that, I'll share with you next time. Thank you again for watching. Nice.